Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Thursday, June 20th, 2024, and now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Destinations across Europe are grappling with extreme heat, with soaring temperatures contributing to the deaths of five tourists in Greece. Authorities on the continent are struggling to develop strategies to combat the heat, writes Travel Experiences reporter Jesse Chase Lubitz. Chase Lubitz notes policy experts in the European Union believe governments are unprepared for the heat, despite having access to information about possible heat waves. European Climate Pact Ambassador Cynthia de Marceau said countries are responding to emergencies instead of putting plans in place to deal with extreme heat. The World Meteorological Organization released data recently showing that five of the most severe heat waves since 1950 took place in just the past three years. Next, a large number of Asian sports fans have traveled to Europe for the Euro 2024, the continent's soccer championships, reports Asia editor Pidan Jomabutia. Online travel company Trip.com Group reported a 125% increase in bookings to Germany from Asian tourists. Bookings from Chinese tourists have registered the largest jump, 132%. A Trip.com executive cited a growing Asian middle class with disposable income as one reason Asian fans are interested in traveling to Germany for the tournament. In addition, flying to Germany has gotten easier for Chinese travelers in particular. The number of direct flights from China to Germany has increased by 70% compared to last year. Finally, JetBlue is making a big change to its baggage policy. From September, the airline will allow all passengers, even those on the most restrictive Blue Basic fare, to bring carry-on bags for no extra charge. Airlines editor Gordon Smith gets into the impact. The policy changes bring JetBlue in line with most of its peers. American, Delta, Southwest, and Alaska all allow free carry-on bags, plus a smaller underseat personal item, across all fare categories. The move leaves United Airlines as the only major U.S. network carrier to charge its basic economy passengers for a carry-on. Come September, United will find itself squeezed on two fronts, along with all of its more upscale counterparts offering complimentary carry-ons as standard, even ultra-low-cost airlines are making big customer service improvements. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skift.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily newsletter at skift.com slash daily. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the Brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, Brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for Brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.